Well going massive, I'm F Zeba. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you natural Jamaican liberty. Alright, so today we're going to get into some tips that you can employ into your regular routine to keep away yeast infection. Now I know that a lot of us ladies have made not one, not two, not three, perhaps a whole lot of trips to the doctor just to get rid of yeast infections and then at the end of the day what do we get antibiotics or some kind of cream or something to help us solve the problem just for a little time now family or ladies if you really want to get rid of your yeast infection permanently you're going to have to listen up to what i have to say in this video and these are really simple tips they might cost you a little bit more time and, and energy on yourself but at the end of the day ladies you're going to be thanking me that you save a dollar or two in your pocket so the first tip that we have we have hot sits or vaginal steams what we call nowadays or what persons are calling nowadays yoni steams now ladies i already shared with you a video on the channel on how you can do your vaginal steams or hot seats and some of the herbs that you can use ladies so you can go ahead and check that out when you're finished watching this video ladies this is my steam pan nothing fussy nothing fancy because i don't want to have something that's gonna harbor bacteria or any kind of germs so i use just this little steam pan and i keep it clean before and after use so very simple tip number two having two rags right and what do you want two rags to do ladies when you're bathing you need two rags one for your torso and one for your feet now if you are like jamaicans many of us we walk barefooted both outside and indoors and so you really want to have two rags so that you can or two wash cloth or whatever you use whether the sponge or the rag whatever you use one to wash your torso and then the other to wash your feet now also why you want to have two washcloth or two rags i call it a rag because i would call it in a jamaica right now why you want to have two of these sometimes some of us will have bad foot or we have some kind of fungus on the feet and we don't want to transfer those things or rashes perhaps and we don't want to transfer those things to other parts of the body especially the delicate miss mary so we have to have two different rags so number three we're still on the rags now when you're bathing i don't know about you but for me i wash my underarms after i wash miss mary or my vaginal area why because sometimes we or some of us use the stick roll-on right and that is scented or if you use other scented roll-ons and fragrances and you really want you don't want to get any fragrance in your vaginal area and so you wash that area first and then you come back and you wash your underarm now it always seems logical to wash under the arms first but ladies remember we are dealing with a very delicate area and we don't want fragrances down there that can cause us any kind of infections or bacteria so number four ladies your panties your underwear they need sunlight so one of the practices that we use in jamaica to get rid of yeast infections is to give our underwear sunlight so of course we hand wash our underwear and we hang them in the sun to dry number five i know not all of us live in the tropical areas and so we might not have sun and even though we have the sun most of the year round apart from rainy seasons and so on one of the other practices that we use to keep away yeast infection is to put our our panties or underwear in a pan after we wash them of course and then we pour some hot water on them right this just helps to keep away bacteria number six having separate panties for periods and separate panties that you wear regularly now number seven ladies drinking those herbal teas so some of the teas that we drink to prevent things like yeast infection i talk about one of them very often on this channel that's the dog blood or inflammation weed corn silk vervine 
guinean weed these are just a few of the teas you can also incorporate your regular green teas because these teas have antioxidants that are going to help your body to fight against free radicals so ladies those are my seven tips to keep away or to avoid these infections permanently they may seem simple but trust me they're going to do a lot when you incorporate these into your daily routine and practices now besides that i just want to remind you ensure that you observe a good diet everything in moderation and remember to wipe from front to back and ladies this is one of the key things that i want to leave you with don't let anybody kiss miss mary right ladies besides it being something that the bible speaks against you know growing up we always hear that the mouth carries the most bacteria and we don't want to get bacteria in this area now i'm not telling you how to live your life but i'm just giving you a tip that will prevent you from making that next trip to the doctor for a yeast infection now we've come to the end of the video thank you for watching and ensure that you check out my other videos i share on things that we do naturally to live on a budget or natural jamaican liberty so we take our leave here thank you for watching and see you in the next video